family is a murderer He went down to prison But now he's on probation So you better watch out Watch out children For the mailman on probation Watch out children He's gonna Oh my shit We're recording Oh fuck Fuck Shit Fuck No <laughs> hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and I was not doing anything strange. I was just here in Jubilee City, um, ch 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 checking on the stats of uh, my Pokemon. Definitely nothing weird or anything. <laughs> uh, anyways, last time we um, explored the basement of Orberg Gate and returned to Jubilee City, met a strange group of people called Team Galactic, and also got a new Pokechap, which is, if I can show it off. The Memo Pad, which I can write scribbles on. Anyways, in this part, now that we have Rock Smash, we can go up north. And actually used Rock Smash on the Ravage Path. Now, well, Ravage Path, which is actually right here on Route 204. And we have to enter the city. Anyways, with this patch of grass here, I think that it's time that we talk about the new Pokemon that you can get here. But first of all, you can get a Paralyzed Heal right there. Alright, here are the Pokemon for Route 204. First up is Badoo. Badoo, once fully evolved, is actually pretty great. It has great special de attack and pretty good special defense and speed. Very few weaknesses, but also few resistances. Good moves to teach it once it evolves into Roselia is Stun Spore, at, which it learns at level 10, Leech Seed, which it learns at level 16, and Toxic Spikes, which it learns at level 28. Interestingly, Badoo is the only one in its evolution family with a different English name than its Japanese name. The other Pokemon you can catch here is Wurmple, and okay, since the evolution is kind of interesting. It, it can evolve into Cascoon or Silcoon and is completely random. And if you're wondering how it's calculated in game anyways, here's the long explanation. The value of its two upper two bytes in its personality value is added together then divided by 10. If the remainder is less than or equal to 4, then it evolves into Silcoon. If the remainder is greater than 4, it evolves into Cascoon. Unfortunately, there is absolutely no way to know its evolution without hacking to view its personality value. If it evolves into Silcoon, it will later evolve into Beautify. Beautify is terrible. It has good special attack, but these other stats are bad. Very few weaknesses or resistances. The only moves that's worth teaching Beautify is Stun Spore, and then it's kind of stuck with that until it learns Bug Buzz at level 41. However, if it evolves into a Cascoon, it will evolve later into a Dustox, which is also terrible. Good special defense, but other stats are bad. You can think of Beautify as being the special attacker, while Cascoon and Dustox are the special defender. Very few weaknesses or resistances, and at least it has a better learn set, as in Whirlwind is pretty viable. It also learns Toxic at level 38, but then it's stuck with that until it learns Bug Buzz at level 41. So, in the end, no matter what your Wimple evolves into, it's still going to be a terrible Pokemon. Alright, I think I gave myself enough time to explain everything in post-commentary. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a Pokemon said to move will be able to smash through those boulders, though. Yeah, this would actually be a dead end if you did not attain the coal badge yet. But we have, so we can go ahead right inside and actually hold on one second. I need to find my notes real fast. Alright. 
first up, we can get a potion right here. And I believe there's a TM we can also get right now if we go ahead and use Rock Smash. I believe you can get even more items if you use Surf, but for the time being, we'll get into a random encounter. I know many of you are probably thinking, well, why don't you throw up a Repel? Well, it's because I have one Repel and, I don't know, I'm too cheap to start spending money on Repels. Anyways, here it is, TM39, Rock Tomb. It has a... performs damage while, the, while inducing the chance of reducing a Pokemon's speed. I don't know, I don't want to use, um... Or purchase repels until super repels are more available. Why? Because I'm cheap and super repels are the most cost effective. Anyways, let's go ahead and escape this place. And we got to the north side of Route 204. And I believe right. I just want to see. I believe it is right above the exit here that. Do that. Oh, no, no! I moved at the wrong time. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? Uh, I wasn't drawn here by the scent of flowers. You were drawn to me because, uh... Well, the whole reason why I've been avoiding trainers is because I wanted to get the amulet coin, which would double the amount of money you could gain to trainers, but one or two trainers accidentally get into a battle with isn't going to be that big of a deal. And sometimes trainers will carry Pokemon that you cannot find in the wild without um, breeding or... Whatever. Is Strong Jane drawn here by the scent of flowers? Have you collected new apps from the Poké Company? Yes, I have, and... PHONE! The most embarrassing thing? Well, the second most embarrassing thing is running into a trainer when you don't mean to. The most embarrassing thing? Forgetting to put your phone on silent. Well, anyways, it was an important phone call. Uh, but that would mean that I have to go through extra work to sync up the audio. I do not like that. Ooh, we got a runner. And, uh, hold on! I absolutely hate my phone right now. Uh, anyways. I believe... Yeah, only one new item, man. This time, I will not be caught by you. There we go. And we got three Cryer Trainers there. Or not? Okay, that would have been a double battle if otherwise, but okay. It didn't look like it was avoidable, but anyways, there's TM09 Bullet Seed. It's basically, I'd say it's like a grass type, um, Pretty much a grass type Fury swipe, and um, actually, I wonder if that's special or physical. It's physical, so it is. So, okay, so I'm right, it is just like Fury swipes, except grass type. This is turning out to be not that good of an episode. This is a pretty bad spot start. But anyways, here we are at Floroma Town. Let's go ahead and heal up my Pokemon. Even though that we only have one battle, I'm, ah, man, that's embarrassing. I would have reset, but guess who forgot to save? Man, I was not prepared um, going into this. In fact, I would have reset um, right after that cell phone because that was also really bad, but... Mm. Anyways, at least this music is really good. Floral Roma Town. 
vivid and scented. Now, I believe there's an item you can obtain right inside this house. Talk to this lady right here. It was barren and desolate here long ago, avoided by even by Pokemon. People started planting flowers on it because it was such a sad place. But nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. Then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. Maybe made an appeal to the gods of nature? Do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Uh, yes, I guess. Yes, you agreed! Here's the TM for the move pluck! Basically allows you to steal items from the opposing Pokemon if that Pokemon is holding a berry. Or can it do it for all items? Let me see. Yes, only if it's a berry, and it would um, end up gaining, eating it immediately, so okay. Speaking of berries, here's the first berries that you can obtain. Orinberry. And the soil returns to its soft, loamy state. Because apparently picking the fruit off a tree or shrub would actually cause it to die. Okay. Not only die, but also lose its remains in, wow. Pick a peck of color flower shop. Free, free berries available. Well, let's go inside then. I believe if you talk to her. Trainer, please water berries using this spray duck watering can. Okay. And I believe if you talk to this lady, would you like to exchange your berries for some eggs? Oh, okay, and just accessories. If you talk to her, a single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you will help us spread more berries everywhere. She will give out a different berry every day. Kind of like the berry master in... Uh... Pokemon Emerald. However, we do have another Berry Master. I think so? Otherwise, then this is the only other place you can get berries. I believe... If there is, uh, I can't remember him off the top of my head, but I feel like there is a Berry Master in this game. Oh well. But I'll go ahead and explain what Berry... These does. Basically, it's a hold item that when certain conditions are met, the Pokemon will eat it and end up gaining different effects, such as eating an orange berry, where if its health gets low, it can eat the berry and gain 10 HP. A citrus berry can heal up to 30% of the Pokemon's HP. But the more interesting thing about berries is that if you plant them in soil and then, wa and then water them with the spray duck occasionally, then they will eventually bloom, blossom, bloom, and turn into new berries that you can go ahead and collect. You can make a huge chain and basically farm for a ton of berries. The downside is it takes a long time for fruit to actually be yielded. It could actually take up to three games of three days of real time. Anyways, is there any new items that we can obtain now that we have the gym badge? Yes, we can buy Super Potions. Basically, it heals 50 points instead of a regular potion, which just heals 20. Burn Heal heals burns. You better bring a Burn Heal. Ice Heal, Defrost a Pokemon. Escape Rope allows you to escape from dungeons, and I believe that's it. And you, I believe you sell tea items? Nope, you sell mail. And Heal Balls. Heal Balls basically restores the Pokemon's health upon being caught. Netball works better on water and bug type Pokemon. But Blue Mail. Um, what's fun is that if you have a point you can write a message on the mail and then have and then through Nintendo Wi-Fi or just by trading with a fan friend, you can spread a message around that way. Apparently Nint but the thing is, if you have wi access to Wi-Fi in your home, then you would already have internet. So um Nintendo. Ever heard of forums? They existed since the 90s. But anyways, if we go up here, through this 
lovely path of flowers. Well, we can actually walk through the flowers, but... Oh, you two. Aren't we in Team Galactic? And we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers? This doesn't seem all that cool. Hey, now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon are so creep me out. I don't like being here either. So they're blocking the entrance to that field up there. But anyways, I think that it's time to end it here. And man, I do love the music, but because of my lag, only get full speed right here. But it's also pretty nice when it's slowed down. Anyways, this was an awful video, but I forgot to save between recordings, so which would mean I have to do the Ravage Path all over again and battle the Grunts all over again. And uh, I think I would even have to catch Bidoof as well. Well, take it for what it's worth. If you do. If you, however, like this video, express it by hitting that like button, feel free to leave behind a comment, and also subscribe if you want to continue seeing more. Check me out on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.